In this example, I'm going to show you how to use the E6B flight computer to calculate true altitude. Let's assume we're flying along and we're going to go over a mountainous area that has a maximum altitude of 5,000 feet MSL. It's a cold day, so the performance of our airplane is pretty good. In fact, it's a little bit better than on a normal day. And so we're feeling a little bit bold and we're going to have a clearance of 500 feet above the mountaintop, which is the minimum altitude recommended by the federal regulations in an uncongested area. So our altitude is going to be 5,500 feet. So we're motoring along at altitude, and we do a quick calculation as we're approaching the mountain to see what our true altitude is going to be. The first thing we're going to do is note the altimeter setting. And in our case, for this example, it'll be 30.42. We're also going to record the altitude that we measure for our current setting, which is 5,500 feet. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the altimeter to 29.92, and then we're going to measure what the corresponding pressure altitude is. So once we adjust the pressure altitude setting to 29.92, we see that the altimeter reads 5,000 feet. So we now have our pressure altitude, which is 5,000 feet, and we have our outside air temperature, which is minus 18 degrees Celsius. So the first thing we're going to do on our E6B is we're going to line up the pressure altitude with the outside air temperature using the window over here. The inside scale is the pressure altitude, and the outer scale is the outside air temperature. So let's line up 5,000 feet with 18 degrees Celsius. So we now have 5,000 feet lined up with 18 degrees Celsius. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to look on the inside rotating ring for the altitude that we measured before we set the altimeter to 29.92. And that altitude was the altitude we had planned originally, which was 5,500 feet. So let's look at 5,500 feet on this scale. And we'll find that right here. In order to calculate the true altitude, all we have to do is jump to the inner scale. When we do that, what we'll find is that the true altitude is 5,000, 5,050. So we are going to clear that mountainside by only 50 feet when we calculate the true altitude which corrects for non-standard temperature and pressure. In other words, you're going to have controlled flight into terrain. Now, if this was a day flight, you might see the mountain go up and avoid it or turn around and go away from the mountain. If you're flying at nighttime and that mountain is completely unpopulated, it's going to look as black as the sky around it. You're not going to see the mountain and you're going to fly right into it. So whenever you're doing a flight, it's very important if it's a cool day to calculate your true altitude to make sure that you have adequate clearance over any obstacle you might be flying over and you want to have at least a thousand foot margin of safety in case you forget to do this calculation. Hopefully you won't, but 500 feet minimum clearance altitude can very quickly get you into trouble as we've just shown. And it's that easy.